everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick pen test for you. Um, my friend Jennifer Dudley was so kind and gifted me one of the Jet Pens uh, purple gel pen sampler set. And so this is what I got. So excited. Thank you, Dudley. Um, yeah, so I just kind of want to do a quick test. I have 10 pens, right? 10, 10 uh, purple pens that I'm gonna test out. That's all there is to that. So I'm gonna move these out of the way very carefully because I actually have them in order so that I can tell you what they are depending on what's on the sheet. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of move those out of the way. We'll start with this one. Uh, this is the, show you the pen. This is the Friction Ball it's the Pilot Friction Ball Knock Retractable Gel Pen in 0.5 millimeters in violet. Um, so since it's friction, one of the friction lines, you can like color it and then uh, erase it. So this is a retractable one. You put, oh, it's a clicky side pushy thing. That is important to note. So, yeah, um, the paper I'm using, before I forget, because I'm going to forget, is a, uh, it's an Erin Condor notebook, one of the softback notebooks. I got it in Austin, so if you're wondering about what paper it's writing on, that's what it is. So, let us do a test. This is the friction one. Kind of do the scribble to get it out of the way. Release the ink. And... All right, um, I don't know if it picks up quite as well on camera, but it is a little gappy writing. Is that a word? I'm not like any kind of professional pen person, but you can see like it does have a fade when you move it a lot. Um, it's not consistent, I guess. You can see like the coloring's not consistent, but it's a pretty color. This is violet. And I mean, it's a friction, so it has the eraser on the end, so you could just erase, which, you know, is nice. Sometimes it's nice to be able to erase pen, and it is a clip click, which is also sometimes nice. So, clip click. So that's that one. The next, I have another friction pen. This is the Friction Point Four. uh gel pen, also in violet. This has a, ooh, that has a super fine tip. Come on, super fine. Uh, this has a cap, obviously, so, you know, do the little scribbly thing and write something. So again, I think it's just kind of a friction thing that sometimes the ink payload isn't even. Which, I guess when I'm just generally writing, I don't care, like, if I'm writing a quick note, like, you know, appointment at 10 a.m. Like, I don't care about that if that's not perfectly, uh, perfectly perfect in ink payoff as long as I can still read it. Uh, but, and again, you know, it is an erasable pen. Erasable gel pen. Which is always... That's nice. You know, if you don't want to, uh, if you're like me and you realize your happy planner does not, uh, erase as well, it's a nice thing to have. All right. So this now, the next one is a Uniball Signo, uh, UM151 gel pen in 0.38 millimeters and the color is lavender black. So this reminds me, these always remind me of like the gel pens I had in the nineties, just to set up of them. And again, it's another super, super fine tip. I'm seeing a theme here. Ooh. So I am typically not a colored ink person for writing, unless it's like very themed. I like this. This is very smooth. It like writes nicely. I feel like I could probably like do nice lettering with this instead of my usual garbage scribble. You know, I like this. 
Oh, this is very reminiscent of like the gel pens of my youth. Oh, I want to kind of just keep coloring with this. And I like that it's a really dark, almost black purple. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh. That is going to go into my heavily used rotation. <laughs> um, moving on, the next pen is the Pilot High Tech C gel pen in, it's a 0.4 millimeter in violet. So it's a high tech C, sorry, I had it pointed the wrong way. Um, again, it's a super fine ink. This is a kind of brighter purple. Um, I feel like this drags on the paper a little more, but it's not bad. I mean, it's a gel pen. It's a super fine gel pen. I don't really have anything to note for this one, you know? It's a nice pen. I almost forgot how to spell my name there. That was something. Yeah, this is nice. I'm not crazy about that color. It's a little too bright for my liking, but it writes nice. I suppose that's all there is to say about that. The next one I have is a Sakura Ball Sun 0.4 millimeter it's the Sakura Balsai Knock Gel Pen, 0.4 millimeter in violet. So, again, this one also has a very weak payoff. Like, it's hard because I don't know how well this is picking up, but, um, like, it is a gappy sort of. Uh, ink payoff. I don't like this at all. It's very faint. And like I said, I don't know if it really picks up, but like in the straight lines, you can like see almost white in the middle. Yeah, this is a solid meh for me. So the next one, though, is a Zebra Sarsa Push Clip Gel Pen. Really? This is a push clip? Oh, there we go. I wasn't even in camera for that. Uh, it is the Zebra Sarsa, uh, Sarsa push clip. The clip pushes so you can clip it onto things. I understand now. This is 0.3 millimeter in purple. Oh, this has a weak payoff too. It's almost like... This writes like, you know, like these two are writing like they are running out of ink. And I don't know how much of that is because they are new, like this is their first going, or if um, that's just a ink thing, but like, I'm not, I'm not crazy about that one either. But I like the push clip. I like this part, that's nice. Next up is the, this is the, Pentel Energel X Gel Pen Conical in 0.7 millimeter. Color is violet. This is, I like thicker pens. This is more my style. Ooh, this has the little cap on it. So, yes, this is the type of pen that I like. It is thicker, the ink is solid, it's a good payoff. I probably should have seen how well, much they smudged, but that's actually pretty good considering I just wrote with it. Um, I also feel like smudging also has a lot to do with the paper you write with. This I like, but I like Pentel pens for the most part. I really like Pentel pens. Um, quickly moving on because I'm seeing that my battery is low. This is a Pilot High Taxi. Maka gel pen in 0.4 millimeters in violet. I don't know what Maka means. It has a pretty label. Again, super fine points. That seems to be a theme here. I know a lot of people will be really happy about that. This isn't bad. This one writes like my super fine Stedlers. Which 
is actually, that is probably my one problem with Stedlers, is that the super fine tips wear down. And this, I don't think, will wear down like the Stedler ones. I like this. I want this in black, though, to see how that goes. That's nice. That's cool. We like that. Uh, the Royal We here likes this. This is a Uniball Signo RT1UMN155. That's right. Um, it is a gel pen in 0.28 millimeters in violet. Ooh, this one has a good cap on it. That's actually a really good cap. Oh my goodness. I might not get this off. Get off! This one, there we go. There we go. All right. Testing, testing. Ooh, this is more of a royal purple. Um, I don't like this. Again, it feels like, it looks like to me that the color is running out. Does that pick up on camera? Like, I feel like it gets lighter as I write. I don't know if that's, you know, just because it's new or not. All right, my last one is a Pilot Juice gel pen um, in 0.38 millimeters in violet. There we go. Do this last little one fast. I like that color of purple. That's a good purple color. I have to sneeze. <coughs> that probably sounded horrible on camera, and I'm sorry. Real life over here. If I was a professional YouTuber, I would have turned off the camera to edit that out. I like this color. Um, the payoff is okay. Yeah, I like that one fine. Um, so out of all of them, I believe that my favorite was the Pentel. Where is it? Let me grab it real quick. It was the Pentel Energel X.7. I do like a thicker uh, writing implement. Hee <laughs> hee. And um, yeah, I just, I thought that wrote the smoothest. Thought that wrote the smoothest, and I thought the uh, Uniball Signo High Tech C in lavender black. That was this one. These two are my favorites, in case you were wondering. In case you want to buy me pens, I like these two. So thanks for watching my uh, quick little pen test. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.